Hello everybody, uh, this is another review, uh, this time of the album Architecture, just to restate yet again, uh, any comments that I make are my own personal comments, um, and they're only ideas for people to maybe think about. Um, okay, here we go. And our first image comes from Pete, who's taken this old building, looks fascinating actually, love to know where it is um, against the blue sky which uh, works very well um, I might have stood back a little bit to get the full context of the building but equally uh, all these windows and panes and the rust provide massive opportunities uh, for producing perhaps some abstract images um, like the image uh, it's a bit thought-provoking, um, but uh, yeah, good. Um, and it's definitely architecture, square though it is. And here's an image from John Coleman. Um, thank you for contributing. Uh, he saw this building, this old, um, presumably ancient building, with a massive amount of history. Um, beautifully framed when you look about uh, all around it I might have moved a little bit to the right so as to get um, the chimneys in uh, and I guess there must have been a lovely reflection in the water um, but the texture of the building uh, and it's been nicely taken uh, again an interesting building and an in interesting image here is another image taken by John Coleman uh, n nice contribution I love the idea that when John uh, takes an image he gives a little description uh, which I always find interesting uh, this is an old building presumably as John says in the description uh, was destroyed during the reformation uh, I love the different stars of stone and the textures and the archways and against the tree in the background uh, makes a, a pleasing image and for our next image uh, from Colin, um, these are the sort of images that I, I really quite like because I think what Colin's done is maybe put his camera on the floor, uh, put a timer on his camera and let it take its, its own picture. Um, the picture itself uh, gives me a little feel of vertigo um, because you get such depth here or height, should we say, rather than depth. And of course, the, the roof is such a lovely sight. The lighting and these cathedrals and churches are so well lit these days um, that they do make great images to take. Uh, I know I was sitting in Melton uh, St. Mary's Church recently during a quiz, uh, admiring it. I always admire our beautiful church in Melton here. Uh, thanks for contributing, Colin. Um, yeah, nice image. Uh, I do like the light on the right-hand side. It just helps to give it an extra something. Uh, this is uh, an image um, from Steph. Uh, I like this image uh, because it shows uh, the architecture on the left contrasting with the architecture on the right. And, of course, in the distance you've got that high-rise building in the distance and against the blue sky makes an interesting uh, uh, image I might have liked to have got a bit of the base in a little bit more uh, but that's only my view um, no it's a nice nice image um, thanks for that contribution Steph here is an image that caught uh, Pete's eye um, <laughs> It reminds me of the wind. Well, it doesn't remind me of the windmill in in London, uh, but I wonder where it is taken. The architecture is fascinating. Uh, you can lovely balanced with the lamps on the pavement there and the windmill and the copper roof. Um, again, so interesting building, uh, and I wonder what the history of it is. Um, the, the the I noticed the windows on the on the on the uh, left turret um has been knocked out at the top there what an interesting building 
uh, and I bet it's got some sort of history. Um, so well observed and well taken, uh, a nice contribution. So this is an image uh, from Colin uh, to remind us all uh, to look up because uh, Colin looked up and saw this amazing roof I'm not sure where it is looks almost like it could be a um, uh, a station maybe uh, he's rendered it in black and white which has added uh, 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 impetus to it um, a fascinating image and a fascinating uh, view of uh, the almost abstract in a way I, I think um, I just wonder where it is and uh, and uh, yeah just think about all the the um, work that's gone on to put that up there but always look up because uh, you suddenly see things that you think my goodness I didn't realize that was there um, always worth uh, uh, looking up thank you Colin for that uh, here's a, a building seen by Roy uh, this I think would probably be uh, suitable I think uh, whether it's called flipping uh, properties or what I don't know where people buy properties do them and sell them on but this has lovely texture in it uh, uh, and the roof there and the moss on the roof take a lot of renovating for sure it's an old building caught Roy's eye uh, and um, nicely taken I love the greens and the foliage and you will just wonder who used to live there maybe somebody still lives there um, I dread to think but it's still a building that is still secure it's got a decent roof on it um, and yeah, suitable for somebody to develop. And it's lovely. I bet it. I bet it's in a lovely area. So Roy, thank you for um, taking that and adding it to the to the architecture al album. And our next image has been contributed by Kenneth, uh, who uh, I'm not sure where this is, but I suspect it might be Cragside, um, a National Trust property uh, of some. Um, uh, historic interest because I believe Cragside was the first house ever to have uh, electric light which I believe was powered by uh, water and a water mill um, I've never been there I would have loved to have gone there uh, it's I believe quite hilly there so I, I may never get there but uh, uh, Kenneth saw this and um, I love the windows on the right uh, and the people disappearing through the archway uh, makes an interesting image. I love the colours in the walls and the way the red has come out on the on the wall on the right side of the arch. Uh, an altogether pleasing image. And I look. This is a, a, an image uh, from Kenneth. Second image from Kenneth. When I looked at it, I thought it was a close-up of the archway. Uh, from the previous image, but it isn't. Um, uh, it's nice. To, it's a nicely framed, with the people walking up into the archway, um, and the architecture uh, behind um, leaves you thinking. I wonder uh, what else there is uh, in this building uh, that we might see. Um, it's nicely taken. Um, I love the greens of the archway, the way the weather has has um, has created that effect, the verdigris effect. Uh, no, I'm sure it's not it's not copper for for sure, but it has produced that mossy effect, green effect on the archway, and the two people uh, trudging through it uh, makes uh, uh, for an interesting image. So, thanks for your contribution, Colin. Um, Kenneth, sorry. Here is an image provided by Margaret. Um, I often look at these uh, sorts of houses and as my wife would say, oh yes John, but it wouldn't have taken off a lot of painting, wouldn't it? Um, this is clearly somewhere abroad, I think. Uh, it's a... Uh, 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 Clearly, I think it's a, an old building. Um, 
white and, and, and lots of windows there. Uh, I like the uh, that we've got two people in there. I always think it's nice to have two people or, or at least one person. Helps give perspective. Um, n nice image. Noticed. Well taken. Uh, nice snap. So um, thanks Margaret. And here we have an imposing building. Um, I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's British. Uh, the the headstone at the top says Barrow de Scars Scarsdale, I think, or something. Um, uh, it's a it's a nice yeah it's a nice it's it's a nice old building I guess. Uh, one wonders in its day it must have looked very imposing. You can see people standing on the balcony there, looking down at maybe the horse-drawn carriages. I don't know what year it is, but it looks sort of those sort of 1700s, perhaps. Um, always amazing buildings, these. Um, probably uh, part of the National Trust um, buildings, I don't know, but... Uh, um, yeah, an, a, an old impo imposing building uh, provided to us by Ken. I'm not sure, but I think this is an image of Chatsworth House with a reflection in the water here. Um, always fantastic square building, solid. Uh, again, you could see this in a period film or, or uh, set, um, Bridgerton or something like that. Um, I, I love the reflection in the water, uh, nicely taken. I might have moved a little bit to the right if you could have done without falling in to get the full reflection of the uh, of the building. Um, nice little bit of colour in the sky um, provided by Roy. Uh, thanks very much for that, Roy. Nice, nice image. Here, Margaret's taken an image here of this... Uh, monument uh, in some some town um, the the bottom bit of it almost looks wedgewood uh, in design um, I like the way that you've actually tried to give us perspective by putting it to the castle like like the uh, the castle sorry the tower like that um, I, I I may have uh, thought about getting a little more uh, separation in there. But I think you, you maybe wanted to get that hanging basket there into the image as well. Nice little bit of colour in the sky. Not always easy to get um, with uh, in the UK to get that sort of a uh, nice sky effect. Uh, nice image, nicely taken. Uh, a nice contribution to the uh, architecture album. Uh, and here is an image taken by myself um, Harlaxton Hall uh, Harlaxton Manor was open um, for, a, for, a, for a couple of days sweltering hot day it was uh, and not many people there it's always an impressive place uh, I remember years ago uh, I went to a conference in there inside and it's the most over the top building I've ever seen in my life um, to see how hot it is, how hot it's been uh, with the with the grass. I tried to get the full building in. Uh, I used a uh, uh, light room uh, and I tried to put a lens correction in to get the uprights upright. Um, so again, one can't help but wonder how long it took it took to clean the windows. And here we have another image taken by myself. Um, I was sat uh, on the um, on the chairs outside the old um, uh, shop of the uh, in the marketplace there. And as I looked uh, at the hubcap, this beautifully polished hubcap, uh, a VW hubcap, I could see the image of the building behind me which we all know in the marketplace in Melton and I thought that would make a nice contribution to the architecture um, album 
uh, for this for this month. Here is an image taken by Ken, uh, another uh, white building. Um, one can't help but think that Juleps have done very well uh, out of building like this. I assumed it, it's uh, somewhere abroad, imposing building, uh, again, lots of rooms. Uh, I might have thought of waited for somebody to be approached the building or at least be in the in the building. But the actual statue at the at the right hand side helps give it perspective. Uh, uh, it's clearly somewhere abroad. A, a nice image. Um, I actually think can some of your images sometimes look a, a little bit soft. I'm just wondering uh, whether it might not be an idea for you to have a look at your lenses to see um, how clean they are uh, because you might, if you clean them with it, maybe then you could do with a bit of cleaning. I don't know. Just take a look because sometimes your images look a little bit softer than I would have expected. Um, it, it, it may not be the case, but it's worth having a look at. Carol here has taken an image of this bridge. Um, I'm not sure where it might be. Um, I love the colours and I love the reflections. You've got it almost perfect there with the two people uh, on the bridge again helping to give perspective. But the textures and colours um, a really nice pleasing image um, and, and a very nice contribution uh, to the uh, to, to to the album uh, uh, to the archi art architectural album thanks very much for that contribution I um, when I curate these images uh, I randomize them by uh, listing them by file size uh, so there's no um, that's the way that, that, that I get to randomize them it makes it interesting so it's, it's usually images from the same person does, doesn't occur twice just to let you know how I do this <coughs> this is our last image taken by Steph uh, and I had to take a second look at it it's a set of stairs I'm really not sure how she's taken it. It's very abstract uh, and it's incredibly, I, I really, really like this sort of image. Black and white. Um, I'm, again, I'm really not sure what it is or how she's taken it or how she's treated it. But I think this is a really very good image indeed. And I like the imagination behind it and the lighting and the colors. Uh, not the colours, the, 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 the shades of greys and whites and blacks. Uh, I do really like this image indeed. So thanks, Steph, for ending uh, this section uh, on architecture.